The defender made the move to Goodison Park in September 2015, becoming the club's most expensive defender at the time after signing for a £9.5 million fee from River Plate. And his first season in the Premier League was pretty promising, with the centre-back managing 37 appearances and 5 goals during his first term on Merseyside. His passion on the pitch quickly won over sections of the Everton support, although his instability in defence certainly kept many on their toes. That first season was about as good as it ever got for the Argentina international across his time in England, however, making a reduced 26 appearances in all competitions over 2016-17 and just four last term. Of course, a big factor in that was a serious knee injury sustained on international duty in March 2017, which kept Funes Mori out of action for Everton for over a year. But even before then, the defender couldn't exactly claim to be one of the first names on the Everton team sheet. The Argentina international was a man who polarized opinions among supporters, with his erratic style giving some shivers up their spine, but others hoped that he could be molded into a confident ball-playing centre-back. As it happened, the latter never materialized. Few will be unhappy that Funes Mori has left Goodison Park for pastures new at Villarreal, despite the passion that he often demonstrated when wearing an Everton shirt. The last memory that fans will now have of the defender will be his performance against West Ham United on the last day of the 2017-18 season, in which he was hauled off at halftime after struggling to deal with both Manuel Lanzini and Marco Arnatovic. He's another that leaves the Blues having shown glimpses of what he can potentially be capable of, with speed and strength key factors of his defensive displays, but ultimately never showing it on a consistent enough level. He's the first senior player to be sold by Everton this window, following Joel Robles' departure on a free earlier this month, but he certainly won't be the last. Ramiro Funes Mori celebrates his goal against Man City, image, Andrew Tibay, but, the 27-year-old leaving does raise some interesting questions. Everton were already believed to be in the market for a new central defender over the next few months of the transfer window, with Marco Silva and Marcel Brands assessing the squad and identifying areas to strengthen. Ashley Williams, was the main was a big question mark over his Blues future having not been seen for Everton since his sending off against Burnley in March, but he's not the first one out. The question now is whether this provides the Welsh international with a slim opportunity for redemption, or whether it means the club could be on the hunt for even more recruits in central defence. Perhaps this could be a real opportunity for Mason Holgate to step up after looking impressive and mature beyond his years for a large majority of his performances last campaign. Many supporters have been calling for the youngster to get more opportunities in the first team setup, and that could well prove to be the case with Silva and Brands already making clear their plans to put faith in youth. For other central defender Michael Keane, this might help solidify his position with the Blues if he was ever in any doubt. Ramiro Funes Mori leaves Everton to join Villarreal the 25-year-old has so far failed to hit the heights of his form at Burnley whilst at Goodison Park, but looks like he will be given the chance to impress under Silva next season. But, who will potentially be starting alongside him on the opening day is intriguing. Will it be Holgate, Phil Jagielka, or will it be a new summer signing? Now that Funes Mori has gone, you'd expect bringing in a central defender to become a burning priority for the Blues over the next few weeks, arguably now even more important than signing a left back. Many have already been linked with a potential switch, most recently the likes of Ben Gibson and Alfie Mawson in some reports, and you'd expect that one body out means the Blues are confident of finding their man in that position, whoever it may be. After a slow start to the summer, this may be the sign of things starting to kick off. Funes Mori's departure leaves an indifferent feeling behind at Everton, and it's only the start of things to come over the next few weeks.